Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It's just about 515 here on this Wednesday morning and we have a pretty quiet start to the day. It is chilly and we also have our winds that are still kind of breezy out of the west. This is a look out of our Holton camera. We have a few clouds passing through right now and you can see the flags whipping around too this morning. So that wind is making it feel colder outside currently and that's going to be the case through the day today lasting into tomorrow as well until we can get a little warm up in here by Friday. But we're at 35 degrees currently in Topeka feeling like 28 with our winds out of the west at 9 miles per hour. Topeka incidentally has one of the warmer wind chills right now. It does feel like we're in the teens and 20s throughout a large portion of northeast Kansas this morning. So wind speeds are about 10 to almost 15 miles per hour out of the west and northwest this morning and that's about where they'll stay today. Uh, at the most we'll see them about 15 miles per hour with some stronger gusts around 20 or so. That's going to last through this afternoon into this evening and we'll eventually see the wind continuing through the daytime tomorrow. So it does back off at night just a little bit. But by the time we get to the daytime tomorrow, probably on the order of about 15 miles per hour or so again. Current temperatures, we've got low to mid 30s to the east, 35 in Lawrence. We're at 33 in Hiawatha, where the cloud cover is a little bit thicker this morning, 29 in Emporia, 28 degrees at Manhattan, and we're at 27 at Clay Center. Later on today, we'll have temperatures climbing up into the upper 30s to low 40s. Uh, this is pretty spot on for where we should be for this time of the year, and we may climb up into the middle 40s, the further south and east that you get. Later on tonight, dropping back into the upper 20s to low 30s again, and very similar numbers expected for tomorrow mostly upper 30s to low 40s all across northeast Kansas. Now the difference with tomorrow though is that we should have a bit more sunshine uh, across the area too. But for today we've got the clouds streaming in. We've got those lower clouds towards the east and we could see a few clouds trying to come in from Nebraska here through this morning. That's all thanks to that storm system that's still just off to our north and east. This is the same system that brought us those storms on Monday evening. So that's going to continue to rotate around throwing us some clouds as it does so and we've got that cooler air coming in on the back side of it. Still producing some severe weather down throughout the Mississippi Valley today. And we're also watching the west coast of California for another system that's coming into those parts where they could see some more flooding throughout central California. So keeping an eye on that through the next couple of days. Future track starts at 7 a.m. this morning. Cloud cover kind of rotating through times through the daytime. Otherwise, we should, should see some sun here and there too. Tomorrow, we'll start off on the clear side and we'll stay clear all day long on Thursday. So should see a lot of sunshine coming up tomorrow. A few clouds working their way in for Friday and we'll start to see those increasing even more for Friday evening ahead of our next system. So by the time we get to after midnight into the early morning hours on Saturday, maybe a few rain showers possible. Could see some snow mixing in at times as the system lifts off to the north and east throughout the morning on Saturday and then it'll wrap up throughout the daytime. So it does look like it's going to be pretty light precipitation, so not really expecting big impacts from this storm. Just be aware that there could be maybe a couple slick spots uh, throughout Saturday morning, but for the most part, uh, this should be in and out of here pretty quickly, so not really expecting too much in the way of accumulation there. And in fact, it's still kind of up in the air on whether it's going to be all rain or all snow with this system too, so we'll keep a close eye on that and update you as we get a little bit closer. Temperatures a little cooler for the weekend, rebounding to near 50 by Monday and Tuesday. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.